Hello, I'm Bo, and I'm here to introduce you to the new Windsor line of carpet cleaning machines, the Duo Series. The Clipper Duo, the Commodore Duo, and the Voyager Duo. They're called Duos because they perform dual functions, interim cleaning through encapsulation and deep extraction cleaning. Let's discuss the components of the Clipper Duo. We're going to talk about the components in three distinct sections. We're going to talk about the control panel, the body of the machine, and the undercarriage, where the vacuum shoe, brushes, and spray jets are located. Let's start with the undercarriage of the machine. On the undercarriage of the machine, starting from the back and moving forward, you'll notice two jets. The white jet is used for encapsulation cleaning, and it sprays at 50 psi. The blue jet is used for deep extraction and rinsing, and it flows at 100 psi. To remove either of the jets, simply give them a quarter turn and they pull straight out. They can then be cleaned and maintained and put back with a simple quarter turn. Every time you put the jets back in, they're perfectly aligned. Moving forward, you'll notice the dual counter rotating brushes. This dual counter rotating brush system increases the cleaning performance by cleaning both sides of the carpet pile. The brushes remove very easily so that they can be maintained and cleaned on a regular basis. To put the brushes back in, simply align the keyed area with the key on the end of the drive and push the brush back into place. The yellow bristles on the brush are the wear indicators. When the rest of the bristles match the height of the yellow bristle, it's time for a new brush. The dual counter rotating brushes on the Clipper Duo are self-adjusting, so there are no user adjustments needed. No matter what type of carpet you're on, the brushes will adjust and work perfectly. The vacuum shoe swivels from side to side so that it provides even pickup on uneven floors. Let's discuss the components of the body of the Clipper Duo. In the front, we have a 10 gallon fresh water solution tank filled with fresh water and chemical. It can be filled from the front of the machine or through the fill hose on the side of the machine. The 10 gallon recovery tank comes off the machine completely so that it can be cleaned and dumped. The handle on the Clipper Duo can flip forwards and backwards so that the machine can be operated in either a pull back or walk behind mode. Additionally, in the rear of the machine, you'll notice the dump hose for the recovery tank as well as the onboard upholstery tool. To utilize the upholstery tool, simply remove it, the vacuum cuff from its mount, plug it into the recovery tank, and you're ready to go. The hose gives you an eight foot reach for spotting and upholstery applications. The control panel of the Clipper Duo is easy to operate with an icon driven menu. This control determines whether the water is directed through the upholstery tool or through the jets on the undercarriage of the machine. This control determines whether the water is directed to the white jets or the blue jets on the undercarriage of the machine. For the water to be directed through the white jets for encapsulation cleaning, you'll need to set the control in the A mode. For the water to be directed through the blue jets, for deep extraction or rinsing, you'll need to set the control in the B mode. This control right here determines whether the water is on all the time, which would be used in walk behind mode, or if the spray is set for intermittent, there are three buttons located on the back side of the handle. One here, here, and here. Operating any of the buttons will allow the water to spray Releasing the button will stop the flow of the water. Additionally, you'll find circuit breakers for both the vacuum motor and the brush motor located on the control panel. In preparing your Clipper Duo for use, you'll need to fill the solution tank with fresh water and chemical. You can fill the solution tank either through the front port or through the side fill hose located right here. When you're preparing your duo machines, 
it's important that you wear the proper protective equipment, safety glasses and gloves. Also, it's important that you dilute your chemical properly, use a measuring cup and measure accurately. When you get to the area you're going to clean, be sure to plug the power cord into a grounded outlet. Then plug the other end into the machine. Give the cord a twist so that it locks into place. And now you're ready to begin cleaning. The Clipper Duo has a 16 inch cleaning path and an 18 inch vac shoe. When you're operating it, you need to be sure to overlap one inch on every pass. To operate the machine in pullback mode, you'll need to select machine. You'll need to also select which mode you're going to use, encapsulation cleaning or deep extraction and rinsing. And then you'll need to position this switch to use intermittent spray. Make sure that the vacuum dome is seated, grab onto the spray button, and begin cleaning. Release the water button and move back another foot so that you pick up all the water. The pace you want to use is that of walking a small child through a park. Not too fast and not too slow. As long as you can see water coming in through the recovery dome, the machine is operating perfectly. To operate the Clipper Duo in walk-behind mode, simply select the machine, determine your cleaning mode, whether encapsulation or extraction, and set it to spray all the time. Adjust the handle over. Normally, in pullback mode, you want the handle low around your waist. In walk-behind mode, you want the handle high around your chest. When you get to the point that you need to make a turn, simply shut the water off, tilt the machine forward, turn on the wheels, turn the water back on, and continue cleaning, making an overlap pass of your previous pass. To use the onboard hand tool, simply select hand tool mode, turn the water on, move the handle forward, Plug in the vacuum cuff into the recovery tank and you're ready to clean. When you're done cleaning with your Clipper Duo, it's time to empty the recovery tank, empty the solution tank and get your machine ready for storage. Simply lift this hose off the mount, squeeze the hose to control the flow of water, and allow the water to drain. Next, empty the freshwater solution tank. Finally, rinse your recovery tank out to remove any debris. Vent the recovery tank so that it can dry thoroughly and remove the lid from the fresh water tank so that it can dry thoroughly as well. So there you have it. You're now ready to use the Clipper Duo.